This is how those that knew Sabina Nessa want to remember her, a smiling and happy primary school teacher. Her murder has left her family, seen arriving here at the Old Bailey, devastated and angry. Another shocking case of violence against women. I just want to say thank you for everyone who came here to show the support and respect for my sister. We have lost an amazing, caring, beautiful sister. We left this world far too early. She didn't reach her 29th birthday next month. Sabina loved her family. We had lost our sister. My parents have lost their daughter. And my girls have lost such a brilliant, loving care. You're an auntie who dearly loved her. So uh, my name is Jabina, I live in London and I'm a campaigner. I have three other sisters, obviously one, my sister Sabina got murdered and this is why um, I'm trying to campaign to change the law so I can introduce the Sabina's law to, um, to change the whole justice system as I feel Going through the justice system as a family, of the victim's family, it's completely outdated and it needs to be reformed. I feel like since my sister's murder, I've heard more and more sto stories come to light and I feel like that's not right. And we all need to unite together as women and say enough is enough because it has to stop. And there are so many other stories that so, so many other cases that are happening that we don't know. So Sarah Everard, my sister's case, are just two of one, one of many that are, that are happening. So we need to work together, unite together, and say enough is enough. Um, just push your glasses up as far as they'll go, yeah. that's it. And the bridge will straight round to me, and I'll be covering them down the centre. So nice. <laughs> That's it. And again, well done. And the sunflower circle came about um, because the because my sister loved sunflowers, and I feel like the sunflower represents us women standing tall, being bright, and help tackle um, violence against women. Um, it was all down to um, my sister being murdered. Um, the fact that she was a beautiful young woman who was just going about her day, meeting a friend and the fact that a, a, a random attack happened to her in such a violent way and the fact that he was looking for a woman. We should not be scared to walk down the streets by ourselves, looking over our shoulders, texting our friends that I'm home safe. We should feel safe where we are living. So I feel like the white ribbon day is just amazing for all of us to come together, support one another and show that we are in solidarity. And I think we need the support of all the MPs to come together, unite together and put a plan in process so attacks like my sister's attack doesn't happen again because I don't want no family to go through what we went through and the ordeal that we went through is not pleasant to say the least. For the future for my two girls, I feel like as I'm being quite vocal about what's happened to my sister, to their auntie, um, I feel like change needs to happen for them to have a brighter future, a safer future, and the fact that they, they can walk down the streets alone, being women.